on the sidewalks of this city, living here on the lawns of City Hall, living in tents, living with fear, living with trauma. And our choice today is not whether or not we bring people to neighborhoods, it's whether we take care of people already in our neighborhoods. So I'm gonna ask you a couple questions and I want you to say, count me in. Are you ready to house our homeless? Count me in. Are you ready to see facilities in your neighborhood? Count me in. Are you ready to show up and testify in other neighborhoods to make sure we get people off the streets? Count me in. Are you ready to lead with love? Count me in. Are you ready to lead with your hands? Count me in. Are you ready to end homelessness in Los Angeles? Count me in. Well, every time we have a brave warrior like our city council president, Herb Wesson, who when we said we are going to take people off the street, didn't hesitate, and within hours said, I want this in my district. And these council members that are here, to someone might harm her kids with one eye open, concerned that she may be robbed or raped or worse. The reason why this is urgent is because thousands of people are going to sleep on a concrete mattress tonight not knowing that they suffer from high blood pressure or diabetes and they need medication. It's urgent because thousands and thousands of people are only two or three paychecks away from renting a room. We must act. We must act now. We must act today. It is now my pleasure to bring up from She Does, Mel Delacarante. That's brothers and sons because if Dolores is 82 and she can't take care of her son, we are going to take care of her son for her. If Maria can't take care of her 22-year-old brother on the street, we are going to take care of him for her. So I tell you now why we are here. She does. Again, she does. We are going to get through Koreatown. We are going to get through West LA. We are going to go through all over LA. It's going to spread to Orange County, the state of California, then the nation. Because we have you, we have hope. Thank you. Thank you for being the hope for the city of LA. We're at Worker Center based in Koreatown, and I also live with my family. Oh. Um, four years ago, QAC co developed an affordable housing project that includes many homes designated for unhoused individuals and families many of whom have a mental illness diagnosis. And for us, our neighbors are not the homeless. They are John, who is a caring father for his disabled son. They are, or Lindsay, who started a job at a market nearby. Or Mana, who is an awesome cook and whose daughter tutors kids while their parents learn English. And at the same time, the situation with Koreatown is heartbreaking. We are in a urgent humanitarian crisis, the crisis of homelessness, and it needs all of us to join hands to solve that to solve that crisis. However, instead of coming together in the most effective way up to this point, there has been some missteps. There's been some short-sightedness and there's been some disingenuousness on all sides. Our members support building the Bridge Home Shelter. Some of them question whether this is the best site. I think it is a great site, but some question that. And it's a reasonable question because the conversation with stakeholders in Koreatown was not what it should have been. We could have done this in a different way and not come to this kind of conflict. I've spoken to dozens, dozens of Koreatown leaders over the last week or so, and of all the organization leaders I've spoken to, there's not a single one who does not want a shelter in Koreatown. But the, the way the discussion has gone down, or not gone down at all, 
makes it very hard, has made it hard to come together. Each day is an opportunity for us to create further tension and conflict. Each day is also an opportunity to come together and work together to solve this crisis. I thank the council president and the mayor for taking leadership on this urgent crisis of homelessness. They are our city's leaders. That's what they should be doing, and I thank them for it. <laughs> and at the same time, we all need to work together. We need to be communicating so that this shelter and all the shelters from the city have the best chance for success. And that is what I am urging everyone to do, not deep down and say, we were gonna smash this through, but say, let's all come together because we all, except for some isolated, marginal people who would turn their back on our city, they're not the majority. They're not the majority no, anywhere. Good. Just as we just heard, we are the majority, including, yeah. including the Korean community, and we can come together to solve this problem. Mi nombre es Isabel Kang. Yo represento el Centro de Recursos Coreanos. Homelessness. Yes, sí se puede. Homelessness has risen to crisis proportions in the city of LA. We are here because we believe that it's most important that we as a community come together and respond with humanity and care for those who do not have housing. We recognize there may not be a singular ideal solution that is satisfactory to all. This is a complex problem that the entire city faces. And our community can play a role in creating a model for other neighborhoods struggling with similar difficulties. Our community has been asked to help because the need is great and the space already exists. The decisions that we make to respond to these challenges are the foundations from which we can further build the Korean American community. This is the time for community solidarity. This is the time for no community conflict because it only drains the resources that we need for other critical actions. Hanintown Korean 사람들에 대해서 메시지를 보내는데 우리 노력을 같이 하고 힘을 같이 함은 무슨 결과도 좋은 결과가 나올 거라고 생각합니다. 그러면 우리 커뮤니티가 더 좋은 든든한 커뮤니티가 된다고 믿습니다. Um, KRC supports the city of Los Angeles in its efforts to relieve the hardship of living on the streets and provide space for rest, care, and transition. If we as a community act with compassion, we can help advance the human dignity of those who are homeless. El Centro de Recursos Coreanos, apoyamos los esfuerzos de la ciudad. Si actuamos con compasión, podremos avanzar la dignidad de aquellos que carecen de hogar. Si se puede! Si se puede! Si se puede! As a community organization, our focus will be to offer assistance, monitor events and issues, and work with those in the city responsible to keep safety and sanitation in good order. We also recognize that Koreatown is diverse, and any volunteers who support the creation of a safe space for those without a home, we will find a partner in us. We can build a, build a model response, and, and KRC promises to be among those who reply with heart, head, and hands. Si se puede! Si se puede! Hasuita! Hasuita! Thank you. Thank you, Miss K. Thank you, Miss K. Everybody that's here on the stage with me, 
all of you that are out here. I want to thank the mayor, my council members, the organizations. I want to thank Los Angeles. We have a big task ahead of us, but I'm sure that we can do it. But I tell you, I'm thinking of just about one thing right now. That when we are, in fact, let me try to say it in, in, in Spanish. Unidos podemos más. Unidos podemos más. When we are together, we can do it.